Hey everybody, it's Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving. Today we're going to talk about the plastic tool again. The last video, if you watched the welding video, we talked about that portion of the plastic tool and that is welding. This time we're going to talk about another part of the plastic tool that is called Trim 2. This works really good if you have a polygon and you've got a background image that you want to, you want to clip to the inside of that polygon. And if you don't have a lot of high-end vector software or any ability to do that like with Adobe Illustrator then you'll be able to do that through this particular tool in a really rudimentary way and I think you'll find it very interesting it's cut and dry it's super super simple inside of EasyCAD let's get right to it thank you all by the way thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing on the on the YouTube channel uh, it gives me great comfort to know that you're there and that you appreciate the content go uh, Go out and spread the word. Uh, the more people that subscribe, the, the more I'm able to go out and, and make more videos. So thank you again, and let's get into it. Hey, everybody, we're back. Today we're going to talk about how to use another one of the plastic tools. Just like we had mentioned earlier, we're going to be talking about the Trim 2 tool uh, as part of the plastic tool. So I'm going to go ahead and pull open an already open copy demo version of EasyCAD. I don't need to add the laser source on for this tutorial. So I'm just going to run it in demo mode. So one of the first things you're going to start with generally is you're going to start with an object, maybe a, a particular outline that you want to trim into. <clears throat> then you're going to have a particular object that you're going to want to have inside of this particular polygon or this circle so you'll see that this honeycomb overlay uh, or element this layer we're going to trim that to the inside and get rid of everything on the outside of this one of the things to make note of is that you'll need two copies of your trim to source so i created this source that is hidden and we're going to bring him back in here later if you if you see if i make it visible it really just overlays over the top of that when they're in the exact same location uh, and they're the same size i just copied it now let's go back to the trim to element which is the circle and make sure that we have all of those visible the honeycomb and the circle that we're trimming to to do this, you'll want to select the item that's going on the inside, which is going to be the honeycomb pattern. You can tell it's selected here. We're going to select modify, we're going to select plastic, and then we're going to keep the trim element open. And then all I'm going to do at this point is click trim two. I'm going to bring the mouse over and select the edge of the circle, and it's going to get rid of everything. I'm going to say, okay, I'm just going to select off from everything there's my pattern now you see why we needed to keep that original source there and I'm gonna unhide that and now I have basically my pattern and I can hatch that pattern out and that's all there is to it it's that simple so I hope you found this useful and this is the trim two of the plastic tool thank you for watching like share and subscribe make some recommendations of what you'd like to see next and as always have a great day.